It's your boy Heavy Starch. Um, <clears throat> you know you hadn't heard from me in a while. Um, changed locations, uh, moved to a new house, and uh, been uh, got away from Nerf for a little while. You know, started doing a lot of different projects and stuff. So uh, I'm gonna uh, try to get back into things. Um, right about now, uh, coming to you with the uh, Air Warriors Ultra Tech uh, Reaper. Uh, blast up to 72 feet. Uh, comes with uh, two uh, clips, as they call them, two fast reloading clips. Uh, it's the Kmart, ex Kmart exclusive and uh, comes with uh, 16 suction cup darts. Uh, the uh, gray ones, pretty much like these, the green tips. And uh, this is the uh, really ugly, obnoxious, green color Reaper. Uh, yes, folks, and as you can see, uh, has a unique pattern. I took the sticker off, you know, I hate that sticker. I peeled the sticker off. Uh, it has a nice pattern right here, and um, has a nice grip. And uh, basically, what this to me uh, is basically the poor man's vector. So if you can't afford those retardedly priced uh, vector kits for your Strife, uh, here you go. It says blast up to 72 feet. Uh, it's getting elite ranges, get really good ranges. Um, disassembly is a bitch and a half. Okay, basically the internals are basically uh, the champions. So to get this off, uh, the adhesive is uh, usually on the opposite screw side and uh, you have to take a flathead to uh, pry this off. You have to be careful because in the front here, I don't know if you can see it, uh, at this digital light. Well, anyway, it's like a dart tooth that comes up with a torsion spring uh, which forces the dart into the uh, barrel. So um, it's, it's hell and a half. You know, so basically the internals are, like I said, uh, are the same, almost identical to the champions. And if you've ever disassembled one of those, uh, it's kind of a little bit worse. But uh, cosmetically, like I said, cosmetically, this is a really nice blaster. The grip is very comfortable. Uh, the prime is really light. And it's got a lot of power to it. And it's, uh, you know, it's kind of a handful. I got really, really big hands. You know what I'm saying? And uh, if my hand can fit in there all fingers, then I know a child has more than enough ample room. So um, my thoughts on this is uh, I'm going to do something special to this because I'm uh, kind of a fan of uh, Resident Evil. So, uh, you know, I'm going to do something vectorish <laughs> to it. And this is about the only one I could afford. This is going for like uh, um, about 12 and some change at Kmart. Uh, it's worth it. Uh, Busby and uh, Ultratech Air Warriors line, you know, is interchangeable with uh, Nerf. And this is basically one of those blasters that if you were didn't have your own blast and you want to grab something from the store and go to a Nerf war, this would be ideal, you know, for the price point. Um, it coming across with, you know, like I said, cosmetically a lot of unique things. I'm still not a fan of these nasty stickers because I ain't got the remove that adhesive and stuff before I start, you know, doing stuff cosmetically. Cosmetically and for cosplayers, this is ideal. You know what I'm saying? It's nice, uh, nice bulk size to it, and uh, it's going to paint up really nice. And uh, talk about something else. Um, I ordered these motors here. Um, these motors are basically um, similar to 180s. They're like five... Uh, pole motors and they got a lot of torque to them. I call them black dog motors. Uh, that's what my friend named them. But uh, I like the neatness of them. You know, you got the positive connection and negative right here. And uh, basically, they are really, really good for the prices. Basically, um, um, basically 260 something a piece, you know, some five, five and some change, you know, for a pair. And I got them on eBay. Now they uh, five pole motors, and you really can't get the best out of them until you, you if you connect these to like a 3s lipo or anything over 12, 12 volts and above, that makes them sane. 
I like them because uh, cosmetically they're uh, really neat motors and uh, don't have any issues with overheating or whatever, you know. And uh, I like them. You know, I wanted to try something different, you know, other than the MTB. You know, I'm just, me, I'm always trying to find something that's really cheap that works really well. You know, MTB isn't too expensive, but I just wanted to find something different. And I just got them on a humbug, you know, just out of curiosity because, you know, I like the way they look cosmetically and they were cheap and I tried them out and they work awesome. But like I said, anything under, uh, 11 volts, you know, not going to work. They got a lot of torque to them, you know, so they work really well under load. And uh, I'm going to talk about something that, you know, people beware, you know, and this is one of the reasons why I don't order a lot of stuff, you know, a lot of certain things from eBay. And, like, I figured, you know, I'll order some wire, and um, they sent me two little tiny ass bags of wire you know want to get the silicone wire now it's silicone you know it's nice quality wire but you know they just sent me these two little tiny bags of wire and i was like wow really you know only cost me two dollars but like i said you get what you pay for you know so it, it i just thought i'd talk about this it was just it was astonishing to me that, you know, they it, it, it was in a little tiny envelope. And I'm like, okay, what is this? You know, and this is what they sent me. I mean, um, it, I'm not sure whether or not I want to use this. Use the, I mean, the silicone insulation is great. And, uh, you know, the strands in the wiring is cool, but, you know, it's... It was, you know, it just, wow. That's the only thing I could say. It's one of those, you know, okay, here it goes. Here's a piece right here where you can see, you know, uh, the stranding of the wire. I, I guess it's cool. I guess, you know, the hold up the voltage or whatever. It's not copper stranded, but, you know, it's one of them cases where you get what you pay for, you know, welcome to online purchases. You know, like I said, they sent me these little scraps of wire in these little dope man baggies <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do with them but anyway but uh like I said um that's me I'm trying to get back into the swing of things I had to step away from Nerf for a while and you know it was, things are getting too serious and too hectic I moved into a new apartment and it's really nice and uh I'm enjoying life so I'm gonna try to get back into into the swing of things I'm gonna do something special to this uh Reaper been waiting for this in a while because like I said it's the poor man's Chris Vector and uh I do something special with it but what I really like about it is the pattern you know pattern in the plastic it's it's kind of unique you know uh it would look cool if somebody took this and then use a carbon fiber wrap that would be something I'd like to see somebody do something like that would I do something like that uh -huh. See, my thing now, my new philosophy now as far as nerve is concerned is to go backwards. Start doing things on the cheap low because things are starting to get out of hand. I still, my philosophy is uh, I'm not going to put uh, a uh, 99 or 100 and something dollar body kit onto a 20 something dollar blaster or less than that depending on if I got it, you know, on sale. So... I don't know, like I said, I'm going to start back to trying to do stuff on the low and, you know, more getting back into the cosplay thing. But, uh, like I said, this is your boy Heavy Starch. Uh, this is my thoughts on the uh, Air Warriors Reaper. So, uh, I'm trying to get back into things and uh, don't hate, congratulate. Peace.